Hello D Nation and welcome back. In today's episode, we are going to be unboxing the Royal Enfield Meteor 350 Fireball Yellow variant, which is a 112 scale diecast motorcycle manufactured by Maestro. And I'm going to be showing you the features and the specifications of this amazing diecast motorcycle replica. So stay tuned with me on this one and let's get this started. Well, before we begin, I want to let you know that this 112 scale licensed Meteor 350 Fireball replica comes in two color variants which we will get to in a bit. And before we get to the good stuff, let's take a look at the boxing as always. So this Meteor 350 Fireball yellow variant comes in an elegant window type box which matches the color of the respective model which is a good touch when it comes to the packaging and presentation. So as you can see the Royal Enfield logo is bang in the middle and on the top as well. And on this bottom corner of the box you will see the scale which is a 112 scale followed by the Meteor 350 which is the model. And finally for some reason it states that this replica is a supernova yellow when this in fact is a fireball yellow variant which must have happened due to a glitch somewhere along the way which I hope someone is looking into. So moving on to this other bottom corner is the Maestro branding with a few other details and flipping over to the side you will find a signature Meteor 350 logo along with the website details and on the other side of the box you will find a bit of interesting information regarding the Royal Enfield Meteor along with the Royal Enfield logo. So kindly pause if you want to take a read. So with no further ado let's get this opened. So, to begin with, this Meteor 350 Fireball comes in two color variants, which is the yellow variant which we just unboxed, as well as the red variant, for which I made an exclusive video, which I'll drop the link in the description below, so go check it out and let me know what you think. So, my first thoughts about this diecast replica is that it has quite a good and sturdy build and made of diecast for the most part, with a few components made of ABS plastic which is pretty much the same casting as the rest of its variants except for a few changes here and there. But overall looks just as good as its real life counterpart. So this model comes with a black chassis, a steerable front fork which looks amazing with a well sculpted headlight, a pair of turn signals and all blacked out rear view mirrors, a well detailed speedometer as well with fully blacked out hand grips with clutch and brake levers. A good looking front fender wraps around a fully blacked out wheel with a fireball yellow pinstripe that contrasts which is a good detail. And not forgetting a rubber tyre with chrome and black disc brakes. So moving on to the mid section, this fuel tank is well sculpted and painted in the fireball yellow with the Royal Enfield logo on both sides which are in black. And moving down lies a beautiful two-toned black and silver 350cc engine sculpt with a black exhaust with the rest of the midsection components blacked out as well. The side cases are painted in black and branded with the Meteor 350 logo on both sides which are in white, red and gold that are prominent. And talking about the seat, it's an all black double seater minus the backrest that was an addition to the Stella models. And the rear wheel setup is just the same as the front but comes with a brake light that is mounted on the rear fender along with a pair of turn signals. And just to mention, the rear wheel has a bit of suspension unlike the front which is rigid. And this model comes with free rolling wheels and a side kickstand in case you want to display it. And as far as the specs, this replica measures in at 7 inches in length, 4 inches in height, 2 inches in width and weighs in at approximately 130 grams which are standard. Well I love this fireball yellow variant of the Meteor 350 as it is vibrant and will definitely stand out from the rest of the fleet. But overall this is a beautiful replica of the Meteor 350 fireball and a definite must have for any diecast motorcycle collector or hobbyist. 
especially if you're a Royal Enfield enthusiast. And in case you're interested, kindly find further features, specifications and the best buy links for this Royal Enfield Meteor Fireball 350 diecast replica in the description below. So with that out of the way, let's place this amazing and well detailed Royal Enfield Meteor on the D-Nation Dino and check out its wheel spin and its functionality. Well, the functionality seems to be perfect and just as beautiful as the highly detailed exteriors. And this Meteor Fireball diecast variant gets a massive thumbs up from me for looks as well as functionality. So with that being said, let's place this amazing Royal Enfield replica on the D-Nation turntable and take a look at this diecast beauty in a 360 degree view and stay tuned for some fun facts on the Royal Enfield Meteor coming up. The new and improvised Meteor 350 serves as a replacement to the Thunderbird and the Thunderbird X lines of motorcycles. The Royal Enfield Meteor 350 is available in three different versions which is the Fireball, the Stella and the Supernova with the Fireball being the base variant model which is priced approximately at about 1.75 lakh Indian rupees. The Royal Enfield Meteor represents the eternal essence of riding, the spirit of the cruise with classic counters and timeless design cues. It is an easy thoroughbred cruiser, ready for the open highway and for meeting the challenges of urban commute with equal ease. At the heart of the Meteor is a 349cc single-cylinder four-stroke engine with a characteristic long-stroke and electronic fuel injection system producing smooth tractable power and plenty of bottom and top. Continuing the legend of the easy singles, the new engine throbs with a visceral beat that is distinctively Royal Enfield. With an enhanced chassis setup, accessible riding position, advanced braking ability, high specification suspension and responsive power delivery, the Meteor is set to light up the world of cruising. And for further information on the Royal Enfield Meteor 350, kindly check the link in the description below. And if you want to get yourself or your loved ones this amazing Royal Enfield Meteor replica, I dropped the Best Buy links in the description below. So go check it out and get yourself one if you're interested. And also, please do let me know in the comments below as to what are your thoughts about this amazing Royal Enfield Meteor diecast replica. And I would like to thank all my D-Nation subscribers and followers for your constant support and feedback and it is much appreciated. So kindly continue to support D-Nation by subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also by liking and sharing our videos. And please do check out the rest of the 112 scale and the 118 scale diecast motorcycle episodes in the description below. And this brings us to the end of this Royal Enfield Meteor diecast episode and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, Give it a massive thumbs up and share it. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button if this is your first time here. And also click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. And if you care to share your views and thoughts on this episode, please do drop your comments below and stay tuned for all new episodes coming up. Well, thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.